I transplanted my babies yesterday and I left them outside for the first time since I planted them let's have a look at them they seem to be doing all right all right So guys yeah I think it's been about nine weeks now um, and I think about two weeks or so since I transplanted um, to these parts and honestly my spinach are not doing well at all <laughs> um, as you can see here I really don't know what that is um, yeah they're not doing I mean, before I transplanted them, they used to grow at a much faster rate than what they are right now. So, I just want to show you some problems I'm having. Um, some of my leaves are getting spots like that. I'm not quite sure what it is. I couldn't find an exact um, image or a similar uh, thing like this on the internet directly. Maybe you guys can tell me what this is um i think i'm seeing it in two of the other spinach not all of them have it so that's the problem i'm having besides them not growing as much as they used to and the issue that we had with the wind for transplanting them I think I can cut out those leaves now remember they had broken off completely um, so I was trying to salvage them but uh, I don't think it's working you see these are the fragments I think it's time for a big big chop I am about to cut off um, the leaves that are infected um, and um, the broken leaves from the, the ones that were affected by the heavy wind. I think I'll just cut them off um, completely. Let me see. Okay, this one I think I'm going to do. Like this, I'll be cutting off. That I'm cutting off. I think the small one, which looks like it's growing those things, I'll cut off as well. Um, this big leaf, I think I'm seeing some spots there as well, so I'll cut it off as well. Uh, I don't know what I should do with this one. Uh, whether I should leave it for now. I think I'll leave it for now. I'll just cut off all the ones which have any like spots. It's going to be a big chop. <laughs> my spinaches will go down significantly so here's how we are looking after the big chop and these are the leaves that have been chopped down yeah. um so <laughs> these are my tomatoes this one was the biggest it outgrew all of those ones right and for the past week or so like it hasn't been growing much so much so that this one which was smaller than it it was probably that size is now bigger than it and i realized that it's kind of turning yellow i mean if you look at the tree this one looks greener than it so i don't know what the problem is um and then the other ones the tomato leaves have like that yellowing um i don't know stain on them or what you know <sighs> i don't know what that is is it um that light maybe the early or late light i don't know one of those maybe i don't know and then um uh, my two uh, carrots are flourishing uh, very much but then like some of the leaves like they turn brown and like fall off and that 
which I'm not worried about because they have a lot of leaves so it's just would be like one or something like that just one but then this morning I wake up and I see this and I thought you know what let me actually capture this and cut these off don't those look like eggs I don't know but I'm gonna cut them off <laughs> otherwise the rest of them are doing quite well <sighs> after the big chop that my spinach had um, I think they are going to have another chop <laughs> um, I just want to remove like any like leaves that are dying and um, so uh, I'll chop um, some of the ones that were damaged from the wind um, that one I'll chop down just so that um, the new leaves uh, like more energy is put into those rather than these dead sort of half dead ones you know this one that one um, and even this one you know so that's what I'm those are the ones that I'm planning to remove so that um, the new growth hopefully can um, grow better and then my tomatoes uh, do, 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 do. I want to prune them at the bottom I want to cut the leaves that are like there at the bottom that are sort of starting to yellow out so that you know to avoid any problems so uh, yeah that's what I'm about to do so I just want to say um yeah I've been really struggling um, especially with my spinach and I think even my tomatoes are sort of kind of struggling but they are still doing good but um, I saw some small flying insects on my carrot today so the carrots haven't been affected uh, much uh, compared to the spinach and the and the tomatoes but I thought you know what maybe let me do something rather than not do anything and just hope for the best so I just started off by mixing some washing uh, dishwashing liquid with water and I sprayed that all over my leaves so we'll see what happens if that sort of helps um, but in the meantime I might have to run to the store to get an insecticide or a pesticide of some sort as a last resort I really did not want to get that really um, but if I don't I might just not get any harvest so yeah <sighs> guys what is this I have this wonderful book that I use as a guide for my vegetable garden um, I literally just opened it and went to the section that talks about um, pests and diseases and um, went through some of these pictures and I think those insects were definitely aphids i went and i cross-checked on google um, and i looked at a couple more uh, pictures so that i can see and compare and it definitely was aphids and just to show you guys it says that you control it by a strong jet of water use a soap or herbal spray or an insecticide formulated especially for sucking insects so that's basically what i did i sprayed it with the water mixed with um dishwashing soap liquid da 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 and yeah i just made my own concoction um yeah i don't know what was that on the spinach but anyway i mixed uh one liter of water with two tablespoons by carbonate of soda and um, like a teaspoon sort of of dishwasher and uh, half a teaspoon maybe of like oil um, yeah I'm just you know using all recommendations that I'm finding every corner <laughs> a spinach that um, had that funny looking thing just now i just um spread it with my one liter thingy which had 
holds on top so I pressed it hard so that the pressure um, is enough so you can see they washed down they were right here so I washed them down with this concoction I am a bit uh, traumatized <laughs> um, okay the spinach here's how they are looking um, they still look fine but uh, drum roll, trauma headache the tomatoes are not looking fine oh my goodness oh my goodness my tomatoes oh lord please send help because wow <laughs> uh, I'm, ooh, I'm speechless I'm speechless <laughs> my tomatoes <laughs> just kill all my tomatoes <laughs> I had to cool down uh, for a moment and um, read up <laughs> a bit more the baking soda and oil uh, solution you should use it not in direct sunlight so if you apply it and the Sun is already out or you know it's hot outside which it was yesterday then it will cause um, the foliage to burn and I think that's exactly what happened because my leaves look like they were burnt <laughs> uh, but what I've done the Sun is out now so the lighting is not so good but what I've done is um, uh, was this water my foliage so I water underneath directly on the soil to avoid water going on the leaves to avoid like fungi but now I felt like I have to rinse off all that um, solution from my leaves and allow them to recover hopefully <laughs> and then um, I'll use the solution again in the next 7 or 14 days which is um, the frequency that is supposed to be used so this is how they look like now since I watered them <laughs> They look a bit better, don't you think? <laughs> but in any case, <laughs> we live to learn. So if they don't recover, um, it's fine. You know, this is a lesson learned. Number one, if you are trying a chemical, whether it's DIY, homemade, or whether it's store-bought, so that's like organic or non-organic, um, don't use it on all your plants. <laughs> try one plant first leave it overnight or whatever and see um how it affects that um that plant before you go and you spray your whole <laughs> plantation so that's the first lesson that i learned and then the second one obviously about this baking soda solution that you shouldn't use it in direct sunlight um yeah research goes a long way <laughs> So not researching enough can also be detrimental. I mean, I did some research, but I guess it wasn't enough. And um, I missed these few um, important um, tips. Uh, it's very heartbreaking. My garden right now looks very heartbreaking. <laughs> um, I'll just take you through it. <sighs> My heart is like crying. Uh, my heart is just like <laughs> crying right now. Oh, wow. Not looking good at all, 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 all. Um, not looking good at all. Even the carrots that were flourishing are kind of like wow. <laughs> oh wow. This looks very bad. I cannot keep it there. I just can't go. So so 
how it looks like on the top and this is how it looks like behind so I mean the old news are doing much better some not so great small leaves as you can see turned completely black some of them and the rest they are black like all around <sighs> the carrots are flourishing but they have also been impacted by this um, concoction the smaller leaves were affected I just want to show you can you see they also look like they burned Are the ones that were affected by this 